Rio, Emilia, Phoebe and Alicia. We'll be following them going about their daily lives as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. Today, we're with 10-year-old Rio. Hello. Rio's favourite things are his dog, Rosso, and sport. I love running and playing football. When Rio was a year old, he had his right leg removed or amputated because, well, I'll let him explain. When I was a baby, I didn't have an ankle joint and knee joint, so I couldn't walk. Now Rio has a prosthetic leg. Actually, he has two. His everyday leg, which he uses for walking and football, and his blade, which has helped him win lots of running medals. I want to be a Paralympian like Johnny Peacock. Wow, that's Rio with his hero Johnny, who's won two Paralympic gold medals for the 100 metres. Rio's blade is really only for the racetrack, but he's wearing it today because his day leg is out of action. Because when I was playing cricket with my friends, I slipped and then my leg broke. Luckily, he's due a new day leg anyway, which is being made by his prosthetist, Matt. As you're swinging the leg around now, does it feel like it's sliding off at all? No. Because Rio's still growing, Matt makes the top bits or sockets bigger every 9 to 12 months and Rio gets to choose a new design. Um, I want that one. That one's quite cool. Mm-hmm. The new leg won't be ready for a week, which means staying on his blade and no football. Will you cope, Rio? Y-E-S spells yes. Catch me next time. Bye! Bye, Rio! <laughs> Meet Rio, Emilia, Phoebe and Alicia. We're following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. Today we're catching up with 10-year-old Rio. Hello. Rio wears a prosthetic leg because he was born with a rare condition called tibial aplasia, which means his lower leg didn't grow properly. Matt, who makes Rio's prosthetic legs, feels two new ones every year because Rio is growing. A blade for running and a day leg for football. We're here today because Matt is going to give me my new day leg to try on. And Rio has chosen the design himself. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. Now Rio needs to make sure it's a perfect fit. It felt like I was walking like that because one leg was taller and one smaller, so I was like that. So it's off to the workshop for a quick reshape. How's it feeling now, Rio? It's great. I think we're good to go. It feels good that I know my leg's not going to fall off. Let's go and do some physio. Really try and get those hips pointing forwards. Yeah, that's it. Rio's physiotherapist, Amy, will help him get used to his day leg. Very good. We are trying to strengthen my muscles. The hardest, I would probably say, is the wobble cushion. The most fun was probably football. <laughs> we'll be seeing Rio again soon when he's got his new running blades. Catch me next time. Meet Rio, Amelia, Phoebe and Alicia. We've been following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be regular hospital outpatients. Today, we're catching up with 10-year-old Rio. Hello. Rio has a prosthetic leg and he's mad about sport and loves athletics. I like sprinting, I like 100 metres. I want to be a Paralympian. To help achieve his ambitions, he trains at a local sports club. I come here most weeks doing the things that I love. I really enjoy seeing my friends and doing lots of activities like running around the track. He wears a special sports blade and today he's training with his brand new one. It's really fast and it gives you kind of a spring. You can see it's got flames on it. They look awesome. It's a really cool design because when I run, I'm on fire. Wow. And Rio is preparing for a big competition. I'm training for the Limb Power Junior Games. If you're missing a limb or um, something, you can take part in it. You meet lots of uh, new people there and make new friends and you do all kinds of different sports like running, cricket, football, wheelchair basketball, sitting volleyball and lots of other fun stuff. Like, it's going to be amazing. 
Rio has even been sent a good luck message from medal-winning Paralympian Steph Reed. Hey, Rio. I hear you've got mm -hmm. some big races coming up soon, and so I thought I would get in touch and just say good luck and be fearless. So have an awesome time and let me know how it goes. See you soon. How cool was that? Amazing. We'll find out how you get on at the Games next time. Catch you later, alligators. In a while, crocodile. Here's Rio, Amelia, Phoebe and Alicia. We've been following them across this series and seeing what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. We're checking in with them all one last time. Let's start with Rio. Hello. Rio has a prosthetic leg and he's mad about sports. Last time, we saw him training for the Limb Power Junior Games. I can't wait to run on my new blade. It's going to be amazing. At the Games, Rio gets to compete in loads of sports, including sitting volleyball, football and his new favourite event, running with this brand new blade. When I run on my blade, it makes me feel like I've got spring. It's race time! On your mark, set, go! Good job, Rio. The race was very good. I've had loads of fun meeting new people and doing lots of activities. Thanks for watching my story. Bye! Thanks, Rio. <laughs>